So, we're back at the Cascass Ranch and we're hunting, but tonight we're hunting something evil, something mysterious and something very smelly. This is a farm. They have goats here, they have livestock and they have skunks. Now I've never come up close and personal with a skunk before, but I hear they're pretty smelly and pretty nasty. They also carry rabies and for the dogs here on the farm that's extremely dangerous. So we've had one spotted in the yard out here a couple of times. We've been out looking for rabbits and raccoons and we've seen this nasty little fella slinking in the grass. So while we're here and we've got our Daystate Wolverine 303, we thought we'd see if we can do a little bit of armenting with it at the same time. Now a skunk is about the same size as a well, large grey squirrel, but infinitely more nasty, infinitely more smelly. They have a built-in defence mechanism which sprays in a pretty nasty noxious smelling fluid all over anything that's aggressively attacked it. So when a dog comes up, tries chasing it off the yard, first thing it does, lifts that tail and sprays away. Now we're going to try and pick one off from a little bit of distance. We're going to be driving around the yard in the truck with the Nightsight NS200. This one here you can see in its fetching Realtree APG coating and hopefully I'm going to be able to plink it from 50-60 yards away. Now they've got small heads. Uh, I'm going to aim for a body shot if I can just to make sure the 30 caliber 50 grain uh, JSB Emperor pellet does its business. But if necessary, if we can, I'm going to try and get a headshot. But with those little beady eyes constantly moving through the grass, it's not going to be an easy target. However, we've got all the equipment we need. Nice NS200, complete with its new lithium battery, which fits onto the side of the rifle rather than in your pocket. Um, this is zeroed at 50 yards, shooting straight as a die. Been on my thumbnail on the range, it's been fantastic. Now all we need to do, head out into the darkness and look for our evil prey. Deep in the heart of Texas, there's a dark and deadly creature lurking in the night. A creature so frightening, so menacing, and so incredibly stinky that no one dares to cross its path. The Deadly Skunk Assassin! As the Skunk Assassin slinks through the dark Texas night, not a soul dare defy him. That is, until... Team Wild's intrepid international big game hunter Ian Harford steps up to meet the challenge. Mr. H creeps through the darkness armed with his Daystate Wolverine air rifle and night sight NS200 night vision unit. But that doesn't scare the deadly skunk assassin. He continues his slightly camp mincing meander through the bush. Destroying anything that dare come near him with his almighty stench. Mr. H sets his sights on the stinky slayer. The skunk threatens with his menacing skills and a shake of his tail, but Mr. H has it in his crosshairs. He squeezes the trigger. The skunk assassin is hit hard, but refuses to go down. He wobbles and shakes his deadly booty, sending out a final wave of revolting weak into the night. But Mr. H is good for one more shot. And he's out for the count. As the death throes of this evil henchman of Pepe Le Pew come to an end, Texas breathes in the free and untainted air once more. As we can smell, well you can't, but I can. We're about 20 yards away from our skunk. Now I've got to be a little bit careful here because these bad boys are known to carry rabies and all manner of nasty diseases. Plus, they smell real bad. So I'm going to head over, nice and steady, and hopefully stick it in this here feed bag, get it out of the way. Mr H moves in to bag the bad guy, literally. Texas is saved from the deadly skunk assassin's aerial anal aroma attacks. Or is it? No. Okay. So, boy that stinks. 
high level of ammonia. I have no idea what it's been spraying, but it does not smell very good. Oh, Jesus Christ, this stinks rotten. Oh my God. Team Wild wins the battle, but in death, the skunk assassin seems to have won the war. The stinky son of a gun. Now look, I've hunted all over the world and I've been to some pretty extreme places, but I don't think I've experienced anything quite so extreme in my hunting career as trying to pick up a dead skunk. That bad boy stinks rotten. Uh, my shoes already smell, they're going to have to go in the bin. He's caused enough trouble tonight. I think I'm going to lay, leave him where he lay. And hopefully we can use him as fox bait if there's a fox desperate or stupid enough to come and eat that bad boy. Oh, that's gross.